Hey y'all, thanks for tuning into the Nintendo Drive. If you're hanging out with us on YouTube, be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Or if you're getting cozy and listening to us on your podcast feed, make sure you're following and leaving us nice reviews. You can also support the show on Patreon and pick up some awesome merch. Links to those and more are in the description, but let's get the show started. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi. Sean and I were just playing drums. <laughs> I didn't know you could see me actually until oh, yeah. you started laughing. I thought I was the only one who could see other people. So I saw you doing the drums. I'm like, I'm going to do the drums. And then you started laughing. So I'm like, you can clearly see that I'm also playing the drums. But before I was playing the drums, I was playing this really great game on my Nintendo Switch. Amanda, do you, do you recognize this menu screen? The strawberries oh, in, the, in the top? I don't want to talk about it. It's real good. I showed Lincoln this today, and uh, he thinks this game is the bee's knees. And he he said it. he's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. he beat it. <laughs> yeah, he got all the way to the top of the mountain. Could you Wait, imagine? Before He's we like, get what a great started, lesson, Dad. <laughs> before we get started, I would just like to ask Sean for an apology for all the slander that happened last week on the main show and the post wow. show. I feel oh. like I deserve an apology for how mean you were. I forgot I think all did about apologize. that. Didn't forgot he? all about that. I, like I didn't hear an apology. Time. I'd like to take this moment to apologize. To absolutely freaking no one! <laughs> <laughs> Love okay. you. Got her. Mm -hmm. Got her. Holy, Got her. holy grudge, that was like a month ago. A so month ago. ago? It was, was last lot. week. Yeah, I slept since then. <laughs> okay. I've had at least three colds since then. I know, you sound awful. Oh, thanks. I feel great. Well, yeah, get some vitamin C in you, will you please? All the vitamin C. I got my, oh, yeah. my old man vitamins right here. Oh, got them down by the day. Oh, yeah. stunning. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Got a little cocktail in there. Lemon, lemon water. See, it's not even like super clear. I've got it. I've, I've got it. A little cloudy. Going. Yeah, I'm feeling energetic. I probably sound awful, but I feel, I feel great. And I'm happy to be here with you both. I'm happy to be here too. We are, yeah. um, we are lockless uh, tonight. Lock no, less. no lock -less. Yeah, gout medication. <laughs> this is young. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Thanks for. Uh, yeah, I, I'm back as well. Thank you, Pat, in the chat. I'm, uh, I'm here. I'm back. It's, it's been a while, and um, been a while. it's good to. It feels even though like I only took like last week off. It feels like it has been forever. It Same. feels. It like does a feel time. like that. It feels like a time. month. You might say. So. Yeah. Yeah. Been I'm a like. While. I can't decide if I'm happy to be back because I was in sunshine and warmth and it's cold yeah. and it's not great, but, and yeah. I just feel really beat up from Sean. So it's fine. <laughs> I was on a run in 80 degree temperatures on this oh, beautiful no. <laughs> running course. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to listen to the Nintendo My drive. friends. <laughs> and I get going and almost immediately, I'm just like, I had to stop. I was like, why am you I even gassed. listening to this? I was just <laughs> getting attacked left and right and I couldn't defend myself. I was defending myself verbally. That wasn't vocally. that wasn't fair. I did recognize it wasn't it wasn't mm. really all that fair. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I'm sure tonight I'll get attacked as well when I well, get into what games no. I've been playing. So mm -hmm. Are they Xenoblade? We'll get into it. Oh, okay, okay. We'll pin oh, it. We'll pin it. We'll pin it. We'll get into it. Okay. All right. Well Okay. I don't really have that much housekeeping this week other than I did just want to shout out that it was my week on pants this week. So the pants Patreon podcast for patrons podcast, for those who don't know um, every week on the Patreon, which you can get a, a seven day free trial to the exclusive tier plus uh, we do like a weekly AMA podcast over there. And um, it was, I was up this week and uh, it was a lot of fun. Amanda is up next. So it's a back to back Nintendo drive host. It was a long, it was long pants. As Yon32 mm, points out in the chat. Long, long pants. pants. Yeah, yeah. not Capri pants. I have a way. I have a way of making those longer than they probably oh, should. Oh, I thought it was just a, I thought it was a but. Capri pants joke. Because those are shorter. Yeah. Can I put oh, out sure. a request? Mm. I want to be drilled with some really, like, intense questions this week. So, oh. come at me. Like, I'm ready to, like, go, like go deep. I don't know. It could be feelings. Could be 
my brain has to work harder than normal. Like math I'm, questions. I'm ready. Don't Guilt testing math. questions. I'm not good at math. Long division. Uh, math? <laughs> okay. Yeah, send in all your long division. <laughs> Make her do send like that Japanese homework. math where you cross the lines and stuff for the multiplication. Yeah. Oh, no. Let yeah. Amanda do your Thanks. homework this week on the Pants <laughs> Patreon podcast. Your weekend mm-hmm. homework. Just send Only it on. Only available and... to exclusive tier members <laughs> at Patreon. Behind the paywall. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, pretty good deal. Like, you can get a seven day free trial and get your homework done for free. Pretty yep. good deal. Pretty good. No guarantees that you'll get a good grade, but, yeah. Yeah, but the it'll be, be done. done. Mm-hmm. It'll be done. <laughs> Yeah. It will be done. It's like yeah. Little Caesars. Like, it's not good, but it's hot and it's ready. It's hot you know? and ready. That's it. <laughs> like, you know. They're like, we didn't promise you anything more than that. That's right. <laughs> Take your um, chances. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it in terms of housekeeping, I think. I think so. Um, I don't think I have anything crazy to get to other than, um, yeah, we're, we're Lockless. Love you, Lockless. Miss you, Lockless. Um, and normally this is when I would pitch it to her and ask her what she's been playing. Um, but instead I'll pitch it to Amanda and ask Amanda what she's been playing. And I see here a couple of things in our notes document, uh, Amanda. So uh, illuminate us. What's going on? So Amanda didn't play a single game during vacation, not on the flight down, not during though. We, I mean, as a group on the last day, at 12 in the morning because we were leaving at 1 a.m. to go to the airport. Um, I played Super Smash Bros, which I hadn't played on the Switch, oddly enough. Um, but outside of that, she didn't play. A, I didn't touch my Switch once, um, wow. which I kind of feel like... Up. Well, at first, I was kind of bummed about it, but then part of me was like, honestly, probably for the best. Like, it you was actually living. kind of a nice... Yeah, I was laying by a pool every day, and I didn't think it was important to touch my switch but then i got home and i played finally that princess Peach game. so i have many thoughts about that game um so that is all i've played let's get into in like it. a week okay get, tell me your thoughts get into it yeah i love it i am ninja peach the minute i feel like i could have just sat in the ninja peach world forever so i bad. promised a cosplay i did cosplay <sighs> i have the I have the bows. We we got it all, man. I got the gloves. Um, the game is so good. Anything negative that I've read about it, I just don't understand why. Like, mm-hmm. it's basically a bunch of mini games, and it's cute and adorable. And I love that it like forces you to do something different every time, or there's like a different story. Um, I'm loving it. I think it's great. I have not beaten it yet. I'm hoping to beat it, if not this week, next week. But I love nice. it so much. Good. I'm so glad mm-hmm. you're liking it. I, I liked it a lot too. My wife and I 100%ed that game. Here's Amanda. <laughs> there Amanda's I am. playing it. There's her, there she is in got cosplay. Got the cosplay going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where are y'all go. getting this crown from? Everybody's got this Princess Peach. Bowser had the crown. You got the crown. Everybody's got the crown. It's right, it's right here. there. Mm-hmm. I got it off of Amazon. And later on, I put the brooch on my sports bra. I stuck it to the sports bra. So I, there, there it is. I was in full, full cosplay. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Um, I don't really own a pink dress, but it's fine. But look at how cute. It was so good. It was so fun. I'm so happy that she got the shine that she deserves. And I hope this means that in the future we'll see more of Princess Paige. Paige. I hope so, too. I hope this is the the first of many. I will say, and I'm curious how you feel about this, Amanda. Have you been, like, 100%ing the levels as you go? No, I take it. Let's be honest. Every time I finish and I see that I've missed stars, I'm like, I hate it. Yeah. Though I, I was told by somebody in my chat that at least the first show, you have to go back mm-hmm. to get the one star, which makes sense. But everything else, I can't always find them. What was it? That was yeah. in the detective one last. And I was like, where the heck did I possibly miss one? So, no, I'm not 100%ing. But I heard if you do something happens, maybe. Well, yeah. It's not, it, it really isn't worth it, but the, <laughs> my, my wife and I did, but it's such an enormous pain to 100% hmm. this game. Um, the, it, it's, it's actually a lot like, it's the same developers as your favorite game of all time, Yoshi's Crafted World, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has the exact same problem as Yoshi's Crafted World, which is if you miss something, you have to replay the whole damn level to go back and get it. That it sucks. It's so like I hate that so much. If they just had a chapter select or 
the ability to skip the cutscenes or something, it would have been so much better. But if you just, this is exactly what I recommend people do with Yoshi's Crafted World 2. Just play through it and just, you know, enjoy yourself and don't worry about 100% and you're going to have a good time. But if just you're run going for 100%, it. just play, yeah. yeah, just run through it. No thoughts, head empty, and you're going to have a good time. But if you're going for 100%, you'll drive yourself crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I don't, I doubt I will um, 100% it because um, I don't think there's much of a benefit anyway. But Not I'm really. getting like on some of the levels, and of course they tease you with the photographer. He's like, oh, if you 100% a level, I'll take a photo of yeah. you. And I'm like, that's not even worth it. Give me the ability really. to be a ninja all the time. That's what I want. Um, but I mean, like outside of that, like I get close. I think the closest I've gotten is I've missed two of the stars, mm -hmm. um, which is much better than Yoshi. Um, Savoy Roy Amazon Prime did bring up that <laughs> I did rage a teensy bit. There was uh -oh. a few moments of rage, but there, it's not nearly as bad as the Yoshi rage. So Good. just just a little, a little bit, but I love it. And Sean was just getting to it, but the ice skating peach was also a favorite. I love that she came out of the blue. Love that. Mm -hmm. So yes, I, I I really enjoyed it too. I had a good time with it. It took us my because here's the deal, and this is just a PSA for people who are playing this game. Go through it. No thoughts, head empty. And if you are gonna hundred percent it, wait until after you roll credits because. And this is, again, just like in Yoshi's Crafted World, after you 100% it, they're like, hey, guess what? There's now a new collectible that is in every level. So my wife and I were playing the game and 100%ing the levels as we went. And then after we beat the game, it was like, here's a new one. So we had to go through every level in the game again. So we played every level in that game, like, minimum three times. Oh, my God. And it was rough. Um, but we did it and we feel hollow inside and it really wasn't worth it, but we did it. Uh, it's, it's a good game though. I, I, I enjoyed it. I, um, that's really my only complaint with it. Really? Like I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was super fun, super cute. We actually had some, uh, like a few questions related to princess Paige, Paige showtime. So I thought we might hit those really quickly. Um, uh, we had one from Kevin. Good old Kevin Ainsworth, up, Kevin? the Muffin Man. Kevin. What's up, Kevin? Kevin said, how would you improve Princess Pache Showtime, and why is the answer to make it co-op with Daisy? Actual co-op would have been good. That's a nice co idea. Um, maybe, but I feel like co-op might have been... I feel like they'd have to add another like type of... I don't know. Like if I were to run through that with one other person, I feel like I'd be frustrated because mm. it's just, it's a very linear path. Right. Um, to improve it i wish that like and i know it doesn't make sense but in the shows like i wish you could swap the peach sonas like maybe you're oh, going yeah. through the cowboy thing and you're like oh i just want to be a ninja be predominantly because amanda just always wants to be the ninja but i think that would be cool or like when you get to the boss battle like being able to like change into whatever the heck you want instead of just being plain peach like that's what I let want. Me, let me swap to Mermaid Peach and yeah. just like flop around in a dry yeah. level. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that ability. Co-op would have been cool, though, because you, um, she's got Stella. Like, player mm -hmm. two could just be Stella. That's true. You know, her little star companion. Mm -hmm. That would have been cool. Um, okay. Well, Fulia had a question. For those of you who have played princess page showtime is there a peach sona that you really would have liked to have seen in the game or are you happy with what you got are you uh any any page sonas that you would have liked to see amanda hmm. i'm well, pretty I happy think... with what's there yeah i mean i haven't seen all of them yet so mm -hmm. i've only made it through i think i ended after detective peach which was way more frustrating than i thought it was going to be um but yeah no i'm super happy i mean i wish Sometimes I wish the level levels were longer. Like I felt like the ninja one, especially because at the end you're like going really fast. Yeah. I wish it had more time because I think obviously that's my favorite one. Um, but I don't think. I mean, it would have been cool to. Do, is there a space like an astronaut one? Thank you. Kinda. I think oh. it would have been cool to do like a zero gravity. Like Yoshi had that. Yo right. There was a world in Yoshi that kind of um, did that. Oddly enough, now that I'm thinking of it, a lot of the worlds match. The worlds with Yoshi, which makes Lazy sense. Lazy devs. 
Yeah. I'm just oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> but I think an outer space one would have been kind of cool. Um, but that's all I can think of. There's like an Iron Man ish peach, an Iron Man ish peach, mighty peach, mm. and mm. Uh, and she goes to outer space at, at some point. So okay, never mind. But um, I would but want not, some sort it, of. I didn't. I didn't play the game. But I'm just yeah. gonna say, uh, I would want some sort of like transit driver or train conductor, Peach. Yes. Like school school bus driver, you know. <laughs> yeah. No yelling on the mouth. bus. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Farley, Peach. Oh totally. my god. Please. Um, Van I down also, by the river. Peach. I'm sorry to interrupt. This is very important news. Break breaking news. Break the door down of the housekeeping. But I want to say thank you, shy guy, who just edited their membership at Patreon.com. To the exclusive tier. Exclusive. Welcome on in, Shy Guy. Yay, Thank you so much. Thank you, Shy Guy. you enjoy all that exclusive content. The long pants, the short pants, the sweet hangs, all the stuff is there. So Everything in much, between. Friend. Yes. Thank you, Shy all Guy. Thank, thank you, you, Shy um, Guy. I just thought of another one because actually people were calling me it last night. It's like a fitness <laughs> persona. They were like, oh, you're like Fitness oh, nice. Beach. Like, that would have been kind of cool. Like, maybe she would have had, like, I don't know, she could, like, th chuck weights at somebody or, like, maybe get super <laughs> awesome. strong. Yes. I don't yeah. know. But, like, some type of fitness persona would have been cool, too. That'd be sick. 80s yeah, aerobic yeah. teacher, Peach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From the yeah, Crystal yeah. Light class, aerobics yeah. competitions. <laughs> spin class, Peach. Let's do spin it. class, Peach. That yeah. is me. I'll wear my crown yeah. to spin class this weekend. <laughs> just all of your gym stereotypes. Power lifter, yeah. just be her. Yeah. Cardio, marathon peach. runner, Peach. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah. don't even marathon or Peach. <laughs> yes, please. we can find Amanda in every game already. So it's mm -hmm. true. Might it's as me. well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, final pace related question here from Yon Thirty Two. Following up on last week's question, would love to hear Amanda and Seth's take on feet lore. Oh. Hashtag lore time. See you guys later. <laughs> I don't get it. What lore? I don't. It's, I was confused. It's surely it's, there's lore there. Uh, yeah. Well, I do okay. have theories. Okay. Um, which, you know, <laughs> of course you do. Is classic me, I guess. Um, Sean, is it? Would it be easy for you to to Google something? To Google, I guess, a couple of yeah. things. Yeah, I can. To, go to, to uh, is up. that at Google.com? It's Google. at Google.com. Okay. If you go to Google.com and look into okay. the search engine. Okay. Um, <laughs> Look into uh, the search engine. <laughs> Let me uh, peek Bert. under the hood here. Dive on it. What? B U R T Bert. Yoshi's Bert. Island Bert. Um there's a character okay. in Yoshi's Island that I immediately thought of <laughs> when it came to the feats. Uh they look like Bert. Like they they have it's like the the big old nose that he's got. Um to me they look just Wait. like Bert. This was a boss in Yoshi's Crafted World. It is, yeah. Oh god, he's back. Yeah. Do the feet oh. not look like this guy? A thousand percent. Well, this is him with his pants down, apparently. <gasps> Whoa, Sean. I don't know. This is PG thirteen. Take that away. Sorry. Whoa. Now. Okay. <laughs> I Hang thought on. it was part of the game. I don't know if this is legit mm. or not. So they he's immediately very cute. made me. They made me think of him. Now he does not belong to any sort of like larger species. He is like a one of a kind. So maybe the feats are kind of confirmation that you know there is there, there are Bert children or that it is a larger maybe he belongs to the Thet species or whatever um, so I had that theory another thing that I thought was interesting Sean if you go into your Google search okay. <laughs> search Mario search Mario enemies bar. wait can oh, we this, see what else is you, in this article quick? you found my tumblr yeah <laughs> Wait, Weird that Mario is? enemies. Yeah, this is Seth. <laughs> <laughs> it's written by Seth. Tumblr.com. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, Wait, are there Tumblr. any others on here? I'm it looks sure. like it's part of a series. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. <gasps> yeah What's here this? We go. Huffin That's, Puffin? Yeah. Huffin Same Puffin game. also from... And you can see <gasps> them. They're in the, the Yoshi's Island... Um, the Yoshi's Island stage on Mario Kart as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Walking around. These are all Yoshi's ga Yoshi games. These are all... What's are going all on crack? in Yoshi? Oh, a peep. A peep. What? <laughs> There's the stork. The that stork. Delivered the babies. Yeah, yeah, baby Mario. All right, baby. Classic. Luigi. And You're all going the down a okay, Where did you want me to what go? I'm just, we're we're just kind of like, like stealing content from this poor person's <laughs> blog. <laughs> <laughs> look up, um, look up Super Princess Peach vibes, which is a weird Google search, but yeah, this could um, be. Okay. There you go. That that's right there is fine from Super Mario Wiki. In Super Princess Peach, which y'all might remember is the original 
um, you know, like the, the first Princess Peach gets her own game game. The game has like some weird, it's this weird junk where like Peach can like change her emotions on the fly, which is kind of weird and Ooh. icky. Um, but the Thetes have their, their whole like thing is their nose lights up to change with their mood. And it is these color schemes. So that to me was an interesting little bit of connective tissue to Super Princess Peach. When a Thet is happy, it lights up that color. When it's mad, it lights up that color. When it's sad, like it matches. How do you? So, your brain just pick is up on so this beautiful. Stuff. No kidding. I'm, I'm wish. not normal. <laughs> I wish too. Holy cow! I'm not normal. That so. is so unique that you thought of that. Holy heck! I was just like, they, they just have big noses. That's all I know. Yeah. If you notice, their their color of their nose changes with their mood, and it, and it lights up like it like illuminates when you um, when you're doing the the uh, the figure skater peach. They light up almost like they're so happy. Their nose are lighting up that yellow joy color, um, almost like I don't know, like uh, like people do with lighters, you know, in a crowd. So, anyway, that's the little bit of theat lore <laughs> that Jeez. I've been able to theorize. Nailed wow. it. Wow. Nailed Only it. here, so. I guarantee you that there is no other Nintendo <laughs> podcast on the internet. That's make true. it well, maybe Seth's other Nintendo yeah. podcast. Mm -hmm. That's the only other place you can really, find that. I don't really, I don't often get the chance to, um, to ruminate on Mario lore too often. So oh, ruminate away. I, uh, I appreciate the, the opportunity there. Yon 32. Hopefully that sates your appetite for feet lore. Um, feet. So what yeah. an interesting Anything more. Name. It's got a lock behind the Patreon. I did notice, um, so a lot of people were speculating on what Thet is like in reference to. The Japanese name for Thet translates roughly to like the Japanese word for like cast. So it is like theater, oh. like theater cast. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Theater That's piece. The kind of stuff that I just know. Um, <laughs> Neat. <laughs> anyways. Beat. Sean, what have you been playing, my friend? Well, <laughs> you guys. Uh, not Princess Peach, unfortunately. Peach. Um, Peach. Still, I have still completed, um, like the status on Xenoblade is still completed. Still beaten it. Yes. Um, so we maybe know. I can bring that up a little while longer. Um, but what I'm really excited to tell you guys. <laughs> about... <laughs> she keep rubbing it in. Well, I'm moving on, actually. Oh, good. Uh, I'm glad. Because moving on. I, I'm moving on. Anyways, I'm anyways-ing myself. Uh -oh. I got to hang out with the Lockleth. <gasps> you might not be on the show, but she's, she's right here. here. She's oh, here. She is. She's here. Hi, Lockleth. Hi, Lockleth. We, we played um, Stardew Valley. I've been talking about this for like for so long, Let's trying to go. get into Stardew Valley. They, everybody's hyped about this update 1.6, and I got excited about it as well. I have to admit, I, I found myself swept up in the 1.6 hype, and then I was like, what's new about 1. Point, like, why are we excited? Is this That's just a patch? That's what I was just like, about to ask. What's the deal? I don't, I can't, I can't tell you, <laughs> aside from like... <laughs> Changing this preview of us watching the video over to um, like a, a patch notes page. I don't know. Like I saw there was an update, something yeah. about doing something with mayonnaise, and I was like, okay, yep, fun. And water is that the deal? Like you, get, I don't know. Like Clint apparently gets some sort of like buff or something. I don't understand. A buff. It looked like I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> they they nerfed half the characters and then they gave Clint a buff. That's <laughs> Cliff. Gets that's a the one point six patch. He got like, a I new have helm. No clue. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. All all I know is that it was enough of a thing to gather a few of us together, and so Ribo was streaming and Lockleth was streaming, and um, yeah, we had a few others join us. Bowser joined us as well, and yeah, I got to play kind of like my first. Uh, since 2018, um, kind of got to go mm -hmm. into Dardu a little bit. And it was moment. such a fun Aww. time. Yeah, it was so nice. And so I think the only one thing, this is my one complaint, though, is the the co-op sort of session that we had is it's Lockless farm. I think it was right. Lockless anyways. And so that's great. Every time I go play with her, like I can go pick up where I left off. But it made no progress for me. So if I'm playing by myself, then I've got my own farm. But I might be mm -hmm. onto this. I think I might, I might start up my own thing because... I've been meaning to get to this for a long time, and I didn't get made fun of all that much, so that was a plus. It was a, uh, it was very fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I miss Lego Fortnite, and now I'm missing Stardew. Sad. I think Stardew might be it. I'm just out Stardew of the I get. Uh, if Lockleth were here, she would definitely remind me to tell you guys that I was always like way behind, or, <laughs> or I was always out of energy first. Like I was like the dad <laughs> of the group. 
Like I'm out there like chopping down trees and everything. And I'm like, that's enough for me. I'm hitting the I'm hitting the hay, you guys. I'm going to bed. And so um, I, I wasn't managing my time as well as anybody else. But I found that my best time was spent uh, contributing to the overall farm because mm. it's one bank account. Right. So you're all selling whatever it is, fish shared or whatever money. else you're catching. Shared money. Oh, which no. means um, and if Lockleth were here, I would also have a conversation with her about how I think it was an accident. She accidentally spent like a thousand dollars on something. It's like Ooh. with the budget. So I, that's where I was like, uh -oh. this is where my fiscal responsibility comes in here. I'm sitting away, putting money away for a rainy day. And thank goodness I did, because we can afford to to splurge and treat ourselves a little she bit. She didn't consult the group. Wow. And I was consult, but the opposite. So we were like opposites on that because you're right. And I really do think it was just a, a like a slip, like pressing the wrong button. Uh, but I was like consulting on everything. I'm like, where do you want this furnace? I can build the furnace, but like, where do you want it? Like, is it okay over here? And that was also shortly after I accidentally tried to go to sleep in Bowser's bed. So there was that. <laughs> Sean. I didn't, know, I didn't know which house was. Which Sean. Was <laughs> How inappropriate. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. She wasn't in it. Like, it was just no. an empty bed, just so you You're know. You're stealing her bed. That's inappropriate. Yep. You're just breaking yep. into her home without, didn't know like, home consent. Was. Did You'll you ask for consent? House. I thought you it didn't? was mine. I wasn't asking for consent. No. I thought it was my own bed. That Sean's like, I live here now? a confused old man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> confused old <laughs> man. Where am I? Do I know you? It's my house. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It's actually that sad. It's actually oh. really sad. So, but because I wasn't paying, like you know, you, you you wake up and then you just run outside and you're doing the thing, and I didn't pay attention to, like which one my my house was. We all had our own. I think Rival had a a trailer of some sort. Um, so yeah, went into ended up going into the wrong one, and to make sure that I knew which one was mine, I didn't want to make that same mistake twice because you know, fool me once. I I moved the television set in the in my room to the middle of <laughs> of the space. <laughs> Because, like, nobody else would do that. This is definitely... I made it my own space. I moved the TV into the middle of the room because that was ridiculous. So, but it was a good time. It was such a sweet hang, man. Like, it was so that. nice. People could just go do whatever they wanted, you know, and you end the day together. If you go to bed early, that's okay. You can just kind of, like, sit there and you can check Discord or whatever. And every, everybody else eventually has to go to sleep. And then you start the next day together. And everybody's got their chores. You know, Ribo's out there. Bows is out there. Um filling up the water for the cat and petting the chickens and harvesting eggs. It was so, it was, it was just nice. It was just wholesome. Have you started romancing yet? Well, I accidentally slept in Bowser's bed and then that wasn't the right move. So I, so I stopped. I'm going to just keep to myself. I think for yeah. a while. Oh my God, Sean. <laughs> but you yeah. basically just start like a new, a new game of Stardew. You know, you go through all the same motions. There's a rat problem in the, the community center and all that other good mm. stuff. So, yeah, it was a it was a really it was really nice. And um, I, the, the only reason I was able to even do that was uh, I was sick over the weekend, which you guys are probably hearing in my voice a little bit, unfortunately. But my family went out for Easter and I stayed home and played Stardew Valley with my friends oh, from yeah. the Internet. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a great Easter. It was I lovely. Love yeah, I saw mm -hmm. nobody. Nobody. <laughs> No, I saw nobody and did nothing. I saw nobody. Yeah. <laughs> can I um, can I bring in a question from the one and only Jarden? Um, yes. Here uh, about Stardew, Jarden has a question for Amanda and I. Seth and Amanda gonna get on get in on the Stardew Valley 1.6 hype. Uh, Amanda, are you gonna get on get in on the hype? Um, I have a Stardew save on my Switch Lite. Um, honestly, I've considered it. I just, it goes back to, do I have time? I don't know if mm. my community would like to watch me play Stardew, so it would be me playing it in the off hours, which don't really exist now that my marathon training starts in a month. So oh, snap. I want to, but it's difficult to say if I'll have time to play, but I would like to get back into it because I did enjoy it. I mean, I only romance. That's the only thing I do. Um, but maybe. Yeah. As it's taken me years to even get to this point, honestly. I've been saying for <laughs> okay. years, like, I got to get back to Stardew. I got to get back to it. And I actually don't think it's on the list. Like, this is, I'm breaking it the rules now. for this. But I think I, I think it might have to go on. To You're flying off the surprised. Handle. Yeah. No. I mean, I own it. I already owned it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't buy yeah. this. Yeah, like, this is, I'm not breaking any of those rules. I'm just, mm. I thought I had a plan You're for the loose year. cannon. Loose mm. cannon oh, cop you have no edge. idea, Seth. You have yeah. no clue. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm. As, I'm good. 
I uh, I've, I've played enough Stardew. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Oh, we're like in the opposite. Like I can't wait. I've been meaning to do this for years, and stuff is like. Mm. I, you know, I, I, I had put my like time. A, yeah, I put like a hundred hours into Stardew like six years ago. I'm good. <laughs> That's totally fair. <laughs> it's you fine. Know. You're fine. So, it's totally fair. You're doing yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. What else you got, Sean? What what else? Need, you been I, I I do need to come back to something I did talk about last week, and that is oh, Disney's go. Illusion Island. Uh, Seth, I don't know if you've heard about this game. I don't know if you've. Um, I've, I've heard. Did you Did you know that this is a, oh, a Metroidvania God. type of game? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I recalled last week, if, if for anybody keep, uh, keeping track of the uh, cinematic universe over here, last week I was on the show talking about this without Seth, recognizing that Seth told us all about this game when it had come out, and I forgot almost everything. Like a year and a half Like, ago. the way that you described <laughs> it, I'm like, I can't, like, I just knew that you were, like, pretty medium on it, like, like a little over I liked medium. It. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Uh, I, I was last week talking about how easy it was, and almost immediately afterwards I kind of, like, got to the sort of, like, last or a third of the game yeah and it got it not hard but it definitely wasn't like i wasn't Ramps cruising up. through it I, I i definitely wasn't falling asleep during the the last part of it like i i mean i wasn't falling asleep for the first part but it was very very easy um but i like i crossed off another game you guys i beat xenoblade in That's case good, you hadn't dude. heard i beat this game what else today what else today? oh a uh, prince of persia i got two metroidvanias down on the year um the story on this is is fairly nonsensical it's a lot of yeah. like and now this is happening and did you like sort of fake surprise twist over here but that doesn't really matter because this version of mickey and goofy and and donald and Minnie, like this is such a great mickey like animation style and the humor it. is so good that that is the one thing i think stands up regardless of skill level uh, wherever you're at like i just think it's undeniably entertaining this one and it's beautiful animation and i just had a really good time with it i did get it from the library so amanda don't come after me i didn't buy it <laughs> i'm not saying a word but i would recommend <laughs> this one this i had a really good time with it um i think i spent about nine or ten hours on it and almost mm. got there's one one collectible uh of many that i i got almost all of like the i think they're called glimpse or something like yeah. that they're the ones that help you get your more hearts um but I, I, I didn't, I didn't feel compelled to get every single one. I think there's like 40 left for me, mm -hmm. and I was like, ah, eh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of good. Maybe I'll move on to Stardew here. But I feel like pretty good. I've, I, I've completed this to a, a reasonable level, which was great, and I just really enjoyed it. And no, I won't play with my kids. In case <laughs> oh, you were going to ask, that's yeah. fair. It, it is a, it is a good. Um... It is a good game to play with the kiddos because they, they have some really great accessibility options. Like yeah. you can just make the kids invincible and you can yeah. just drop ropes for them if they can't get to a certain ledge or whatever. But yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I really enjoyed it. It's just a solid. It, it's interesting because like you, you realize once you get to a certain point, like, oh, right, there's like no combat in this. Like it's, yes, I had the same real like I yeah. and for bosses as well. There's a couple bosses there that it's like, well, how am I supposed to beat this boss if you're not you're not you're never jumping on an enemy to like mm -hmm. defeat it or like even like nudging it off an edge or anything like that. It's really none of that. Yeah, so, but yeah, classic Metroidvania. Oh, Amanda from the press pool. Hi. Hi. Yes. Right Miles front. of underscore of Amanda speaking. <laughs> um, is this the game that you said last week that I would like? You might. I'd be but curious I, to I don't think know why. I, I well, because it was easy. Um, is <laughs> kind of where I was going with wow. that. But, okay, um, moving on. Next, but I, I I actually um, I don't think that I would recommend it to you mainly because I okay. just don't think platformers are for you. Like any sort of like yeah, no, any any not at all anything even remotely to it. Like um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. No. But it was mainly just the difficulty level. I think like maybe this is for okay. Amanda, you but, know what? Thank you. But it's like <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I I do think especially you're talking about by the end, Sean. It kind of ramp, ramps up. Not, it ramps up. It doesn't get like super difficult, but it do, it gets a little bit more demanding of like what it's asking you to do in terms of like performing moves and stuff. And a little bit. Yeah. I would say like navigation. if if not this one, then I don't know what would. Like mm -hmm. this is such a what I love about it is like for me having played a lot of these types of games, the um the style of it and the animation, the writing, everything, the music is just like your quality like when you think disney oh, quality like it's definitely yeah. there and it onboards people to like what are storied and sort of like almost tropey elements of a metroidvania like you'll mm -hmm. you'll do a lot of backtracking you'll get to a point and it literally tells you like you can't 
do this part right now. You'll come back to this later when you get like another ability or something like that. And the way that it handles that I thought was like really nice instead of you're on your own, like it would be with like Ori or um, Hollow Knight or things like that, or, or Metroid, especially like they wasn't telling you nothing. It was just no. like you're at a dead end. Now, hopefully you remember to come back to here later. It's it onboards you pretty well. So if this is like your first Metroidvania. This is a great place to start. And it's not I to agree. demean the game or anybody's like skill level at all. It's just like if you've been hearing people like wax poetic about this Metroidvania or that, but also hear how difficult it is. It's like there's no better place to start than this. You know, like that's a, that's about as all a compliment, I think, as I can give this game. It's pretty, okay. pretty fun. I agree. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you sold me, but OK. Well, that's all right. Not my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was Capri saying that because I had a great time. Uh, <laughs> I was saying that because the only reason you were going to recommend it to me was because it's easy. Mm. So, it it is it is a great. <sighs> Fulia points out in the chat. This was her first <laughs> Metroid being the yeah the heavy sigh. Oh, <sighs> but it's fine. It, it's good. I I like to. I don't think too. I could. I actually don't know if I could recommend a game to Amanda that she would actually mm. play. What did I get recommended recently? Oh, Chicory got recommended by somebody in my community. They Chicory. told me that I would yeah. really enjoy that game. Yeah, I, I think recommendations it. for you are better for from someone else. I don't think that's from me. Okay, I don't think good. I can. Let's I don't think I can way. do it. Yeah, we'll I am. That's way. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think All I would right. struggle with it. Chicory, I haven't yeah. even played yet. Was I that a Backtrackers game? Did they do that in the yeah. mm -hmm. Backtrackers? They've, they've nice. done Chicory. Yeah, absolutely. Chicory. Chick yeah, Chicory. Mm. Uh, excellent game. Excellent yeah. game. Uh, okay. Anything else on the docket, Sean? D Disney there is, but not for today. Okay. Tune in, tune in to the Xbox Drive on Friday, yeah. and go. I will talk all about Brotato. Oh, let's <laughs> My go. new personality. Which is also on the Switch. It is on Switch, yes. somebody on our trip was playing it um, in the oh. Airbnb. So I learned about Brotato. Brotato. What a game. I thought it was Holy very crap. ironic that you were also playing it. I was like, okay. It was me. Yeah, man. But it's very you. Oh, yes. Very yeah, vampire this, survivors. Yes, so. it is. Totally. It, I was, um, maybe this is a post-show thing, but I was chatting with, you know, Mitch and everybody and Bowser and Fiona on the Xbox Drive about, like, what's a you game? Like, what's a Seth game? What's a what's an Amanda game? Like, I think that's a thing, but I, I don't know if I'm making any sense over there. But, like, what Amanda just said, like, that's a Sean game. I'm like, I agree. Like, I think that is. I think there is a type of game for like all of us so. not that we only play one type of game and that's not what i'm trying to say but like every once in a while something shows up and it's like that's a you game you know what i mean like i think that's yeah. that'd be fun to explore i when i think of like what's a sean game i think it's like a a gameplay forward like arcadey almost arcadey very yeah. good mm. like gameplay loop you yes. know like mm -hmm. story is kind of like secondary not that you you like a good story but it's like totally yes but as long as the gameplay is good and crunchy, like that's what you really care about. Crunchy, yeah. crunchy gameplay. I'm all about it. Totally. Crunchy I also like smooth gameplay, gameplay but crunchy <laughs> gameplay also very wait, good. Wait, crunchy. important yes. question: smooth peanut butter or crunchy peanut butter? Which is best? I like them both. I, I prefer smooth, but I'll have them both. definitely. Like them definitely both. Smooth. smooth is yeah. Okay, smooth is I'm best. glad we're all on the same page. Oddly yeah. enough, I do prefer smooth peanut butter, but crunchy gameplay. Yes. Okay. But okay. I, I'm glad I'm glad you stuck on that though, Seth, because like, yeah, like I definitely prefer games that like are gameplay forward and story sort of like secondary. But I don't want people to think like I don't appreciate story. Some of my most right. favorite games of all time are story heavy. The Last of Us Part One and only Part One is a great example of this. All I named my experience. daughter after Ellie. You know what I mean? I named <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think it's an interesting kind of thing to ruminate on. I like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I will. I'll say this: the, the only we mentioned Peach, which is the the main thing I've been playing. But I'll I'll mention one more thing, um, and that is I, I've been in a little bit of a um, I don't want to say a funk, but like I've been in a weird place with video games, and I haven't really understood like what I'm kind of looking for with video games. Mm. I played Pepper Grinder. I really enjoyed it, but mm. like it was kind of like I played it in like a sitting. Like it was really good, but I was done with it. And like, I did a stream of it on all in's YouTube channel and I was done. No reason to go back to it, you know? Um, and what I ended up discovering was I kind of just want to play like paper Mario style games. Yeah. And, uh, I wound up 
looking at because I, I had played the the most recent South Park game, which I actually like more than most people. Um, for some reason, I didn't think I'd be a defender of it, but I guess I am. Um, and I ended up wanting to go back to Stick of Truth, and yes, I yes. replayed the entirety of South Park: The Stick of Truth this weekend. Like, I just played the whole damn thing in like two sittings. Like, I just play. I just I couldn't Get put it down. Game on. <laughs> it's so good. Like, I that is a great with the with the exception of I would say Bug Fable. So that was probably my second favorite Paper Mario. Like, it's really good. Um, and so I played through that whole thing and then I started up last night, I started playing the fractured butthole and, um, which Amanda is the what? name of a South Park game. <laughs> South Park, <laughs> the fractured butthole is, is it not is butthole, the name? Yeah. butthole, but, butthole. Yeah. They're like they complete. Were, they're fractured. Yeah, they're fractured, but they're whole. But they're complete. Right. So Yeah. And uh, enjoying it. I don't know. These are just really good games. Like, I just, I just really like them. And funny. Like, I don't know, man. I, like, I just fell right back into that world, dude. You know? What a game. Holy. I did not see this coming at all. Um, Chelsea and I, uh, my wife, we have a collectible of the um, Wizard Cartman. And it's a yeah. great figure. It's a giant like figure of them. They did great collect uh, collector's editions for both games. Mm-hmm. But Wizard Cartman was so good. What was he on? Um, the second, the fractured butthole. What the heck was he? He was the coon. Oh, he's the a coon. coon. That's yeah. right. Oh yeah, I think he was on some sort of like cart or something. If I remember. Yeah. Um, in any case, this game <laughs> is. I mean, <laughs> we're looking at the trailer right now. It's. A- <laughs> what are we? It's this is like rated South M. Park. Oh, it, yeah. big, this is South Park, Amanda. There's it's like, South Park. That's all you need to know. Like, yeah. it's okay. so, but it's so clever. Like, speaking of writing and, like, you know, it's kind of funny that you bring this up in the same episode as Disney Illusion Island because it's just, like, it's so quintessential So similar. Park. No, but it's, like... <laughs> so similar. It's animated. It's, like, a base off a of property. And, like, Disney's known for its quality. South Park is known for the way South Park is, and that's what you get. With the stick of truth, it is. It is a playable and it's South legit Park a great RPG game, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. And and like the first one, Stick of Truth is it is a Paper Mario style. The combat yep. is like turn based, timing based, just like Paper Mario. And then you get to the fractured butthole, and it is the combat system is like a live alive esque grid based like positional combat system. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've really like, I, it's been cool to like go back to uh, that whole world and everything. So yeah. This, on is sale hard, right now. this is why it's hard to be like, Amanda, you should play what we're playing. It's like, she's <laughs> like, no, I'm good. She's out. I'm she's playing Celeste. Out. Seth is playing South Park. Oh, yeah. man, you make me want to go out. back to this. It's so, it's so good. Yeah, it's Man. it's excellent. And for anybody listening, if you want to play the the I would the st- stick of truth is really excellent. I, yeah. I can't vouch for fractured butthole yet. I'm pretty early into it because this is my first real time playing it. Oh wow! Um, yeah, I played a little bit of it when it came out, and I fell off for whatever reason. So, um, but stick of truth, it's like eight ninety nine or something. So, yeah, <laughs> I forgot yeah. about that. Jace Jason in the out. chat. Go ahead, yeah. Seth. The, the difficulty is based on the race you choose for your character. So in the fractured butthole, the you're making your character and the difficulty slider is literally your skin color. It's so bad. So, <laughs> it's for like, real. Dear yeah. God. Because, you know, yeah. So it's South Park. Yeah. Very memorable so, game, though. Holy it is. Yeah, it is. I, I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with it. So funny because uh, okay. people call me like dad last week. Like, oh, <laughs> I feel like mom's right here. Just like, oh, boys. Like, what are you? Judgmental. Yeah, yes. I know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you watching that nonsense for? Uh, South Park ain't lying. That's oh, for man. sure. So yeah. good. What a great game. All right. Well, good shall games. we hit? Uh, good games. Good games. Um, good, good we job, do have everybody. A, a, fun, a fun topic tonight to get into. But before we do, let's hit a few of these questions, shall we? Let's bring some of our community members in. Um, Amanda, I noticed with this question this was i was like oh amanda's gonna have a fire answer to this question from the don rob what are your top three anime of all time and why big question 
Three is so difficult. I cannot narrow it down to three. I can give you Naruto. my top two. Top <laughs> two. I would wait. Wait. Let me put them in order. Okay. Inuyasha is number one because that's wow. where Amanda first learned about love. <laughs> in Inuyasha, <laughs> <laughs> and it was not great. She learned I like the bad boys who uh -huh. want to kill everybody. Very bad. Very bad. Anywho, so Inuyasha is number one for me. Naruto is number two for me, and then I really struggle with number three because there are so many. Because I want to, I love Spy Family so mm -hmm. much, but I'm also I'm currently watching a show called Apothecary Diaries, and it is top tier. It is so good. But then I could also throw Jujutsu Kaisen up there as well because I also love Jujutsu mm. Kaisen. So I Damn. would say. I think if I had to pick a top three, it would be in this order, Inuyasha, Naruto, and um, Apothecary Diaries. Wow. But Apothecary Diaries has a little bit of an asterisk next to it because there are so many others um, from my childhood that I was obsessed with. But when I think of what I go back to all the time, like I have the Inuyasha DVDs, and I will pop, pop them back in and just watch them over and over and over again or i'll go back and watch clips or the, some of the movies on youtube um mm. naruto just never felt like it never ends so i can always go back and um i do go back and rewatch episodes and then i mean apothecary diaries is new i think it first released last year um i think i don't think it was a 24 release i think it was a 23 release i could be wrong on that but it is so good like it's just a really good story and it's currently airing um and it just gets me every time. Demon Slayer is also a really good option that I love. So I don't know. It's hard for top two are very solidified. Three and beyond are kind of all over the place. But in the ether, yeah. Do you yeah. do you get weird about? Because for me, I get sometimes weird about like recency bias. Because I like I have been watching great anime lately. Actually, um, I have been all over Crunchyroll lately. Like <gasps> I. I watched Odd Taxi and I was like, "That this is one of the best anime I've ever seen. I loved it. And then I started watching Free Ren and I was Free like, Ren? this Great. is one of my favorite. It, like, it's just, I could, you know, but, but I get weird about that because I feel like my top three should be solid. You know what I mean? I like, know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel weird about like christening something that new into my top three. Does that make mm -hmm. any sense? Like, I, oh, I feel yeah. weird about that. Totally. So. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people would say bleach naruto and maybe mm -hmm. one piece or they'll put um Holy sailor trendy. moon in there and yeah. it's just i don't know like apothecary diaries has just been really really good i have yet to have an episode that i don't like and i look forward to watching it very similarly as i do to demon slayer and jujitsu kaisen and spy family um so i don't know death note yep they're saying death note in the chat death note is yeah. also very good um big O, awesome dave hell yeah let's go <laughs> but yeah. yeah that's that's what i'm vibing with right now i don't think the top two will ever change but number three keeps changing but i think right now it's apothecary diaries and i think i'm going to keep it there for now but hell yeah. mm -hmm. you got a top three sean what's your what's your top three? Oh, you're muted, you're muted. damn it <laughs> I was trying to pull an old pulled a Fiona McKinnon on us. Pulled a Fiona McKinnon. At least I didn't launch the show like that. I was muted. Um, I was muted on the on the anime topic. Weird, isn't that strange? Oh, weird. Mm. Yeah, like I don't know. Steins Gate number one, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. I guess Steins Gate <laughs> number one, eh? I mean, like I don't That's know. That's what dude. he's like, watched. Those are all the ones yeah. that I've watched. Like those are the three. <laughs> those are the, the three. three animes that I've seen. Yeah, that's that probably really is it. Yeah. yeah yeah i appreciate okay. you trying to include me but i don't i don't think i have anything to contribute no, to this conversation i'm working well, on it. i my my number one's fully cooly i think it's always mm. going to be fully cooly um my number two is kind of like like basic but it's probably either evangelion or cowboy bebop are my uh, two and three also great options so yeah that's probably my two and three so yeah anyways Fun question there, the Don Rob. Maybe we'll Fun talk question. a little bit more anime in the uh, anime in the post show. Yes. Uh, Quaggy comes in and says, "Immortal uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising continues to live rent free in my head. What is your favorite new IP in the past five years?" That's a good question. That's a big question. New IP. Hmm. Yeah. On the Nintendo Switch. 
Yeah, so it the Nintendo to be. Switch. Mm-hmm. That's you know that's it's funny how challenging that is on Nintendo because we don't do new IP. You know, we don't do that here. over here. Um, you got to sure. you got to give a shout out to Triangle Strategy, of course. Of course, yeah. We're Unicorn just Overlord. within. Sean, we're just within the cutoff for what I was about to say. August thirtieth, twenty nineteen, was the release date of my answer. Astral Chain. So oh, we're nice within one. five yep. years. That's a good answer. I'm gonna go with Astral Chain. Uh, Are these yeah. Nintendo exclusives? I think it could be. I don't whatever. think so. Yeah. Does so, Celeste count? I was gonna Probably. ask if Indies count. Yeah. Because I would Celeste? say Sea of Stars would be mine. Totally. Good mm-hmm. answer. Good answer. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. Is ARMS? When did ARMS come out? It was arms. too long ago. His first year legs. Switch. That was seven years ago. You're right. Damn. ARMS. Legs. Arms, Switch has yeah. been a, a long Elbows. Time. Long time. Well, even like Mario plus Rabbids would be up there too. Yeah. But I think five years That's is... That's first year also. Yeah. Was it really the first yeah. year? What a year. First year Holy Switch crap. was a banger. That is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, Shy Guy. Great call with Cobalt Core. Yes. Cobalt Core. Excellent game. Hell yeah. Fulia with the Bug Snacks. Yes. Bug Snacks is up there. Yep. Yeah. Good Trombone stuff. Trombone Champ. Can't leave out Trombone Champ. Oh, uh, we can't Star- forget about Trombone Champ. Star Athena says Splatoon. I haven't played Splatoon, but, but yep. Nintendo just gave me a free coat of Splatoon oh. um, for work. So I will be attempting Splatoon at work. Hell so yeah. I'm excited because I've never played Splatoon. Nice. Very good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good answers. Good answers. Um, let's bring in Awesome Dave1337. Today marks the 30th anniversary of the release of Final Fantasy VI on the Super Nintendo, known as Final Fantasy III in the States at that time. This has me thinking, what classic RPGs would you all like to see on NSO at some point? Ooh. Classic RPGs. I'll tell you mine right, at, right off rip. Final Go. Fantasy Tactics Advance. I want that on NSO so bad. I love that game so much. That game is so special to me. One of my favorite GBA games. That'd make me very happy indeed. So. Uh, side note, um, to delay my answer just a little bit, I fired up the um, Game Boy Advance app on Switch oh. to play what was launched while we were live on the air last week. Um, F-Zero? F-Zero Maximum Velocity on the GDA. Yeah. I'd never played it before, and I'm a big F-Zero stan, and I fired it up earlier today, and I don't think I'm going to play that again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good with just the regular <laughs> F-Zero. Just play yeah, I'm good with that 99 and just because uh, you can play F Zero on Super Nintendo on NSO, yeah. so I think yeah. that that's probably good. I feel like the designs of the cars aren't very good, and the music was fine at best. And I don't know any of the tracks, I so I sucked at it. So I'm like, why years. am I? What am I doing? Yeah. But sh- but that but the reason I bring up is that that library of GBA games is so good, dude. It's Excellent. so great. I'm like, how have I, I need to fire this up a little bit more? Uh, but what was the question? RPGs, classic on RPGs. NS- for NSO. Is, is Chrono Trigger not on NSO it's right not. now? How is that? It's that's not. the default answer. That's the yeah. That's no brainer. Yeah. Yeah. I want the, the other um, old old Final Fantasy games are on the list as well. Love to play some yeah. of those old games. Yeah. Anything stick out to you, Amanda? Any classic no. RPGs? No. Got it. Gone. All good. All good. <laughs> I love uh, the way that you can get to tactics through GBA. It's, it's just, a PlayStation game. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, I think a lot of people consider it a, a play, but for the, the vibes of the GBA game specifically, mm. that's where I played it. And, like, it just has a particular, like, just the look of it. It's really, like, cozy. Like, the, yeah. the pixels are, like, nice and chunky. And I don't know. There's just something yeah, about character it. character design is great. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's it. a good pick. I am, um, this is um, maybe somewhat relevant to the conversation I, the, of why I'm struggling with it is like when I was younger, I didn't think I was able to play. Like, I didn't think I was like capable of playing RPGs. Like legitimately fallout three, I think was the first wow. role playing game that I play. I'm like, Oh, I can play these games. Like, I just thought they were just not for me. Like I saw my smart friends, like who grew up to be engineers. They're the ones playing final fantasy. Like I didn't grow up with Pokemon or anything like that. Um, so like, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a huge miss for me. And you can see, like, when I'm trying to, like, play newer games, even, like, I don't have that, like, childhood background for all this mm-hmm. stuff, like, where everybody else is miles ahead. Miles of Amanda. Miles. Miles uh, underscore ahead. Miles. So, yeah, mm-hmm. like, I, I love some recommendations, too, as far as, like, what am, what am I missing? I don't, I haven't played any of the, the mana game, like, the Secrets of Mana or, 
uh, any of those games. Um, what's the Gaia game on Super Nintendo? Yeah, yeah. You know any of that stuff? Barely remember the names of them. So, <laughs> well, it's, it's too bad you're it's not fine. surrounded by RPG fans. <laughs> RPG, know, right? <laughs> no one is a fan of the RPG. Don't worry. I love, dude. I love how many people are all in on RPGs in the carpool community. It's so awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. People love them. Okay, well, let's hit a couple more of these just real quick before we get into our topic here. Nagachaka comes in. What's the best Star Wars game on any Nintendo system, and why is it Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader on the GameCube, a.k.a. the Nintendo GOAT console? What? So, I gotta say, I think I agree with him on this one. What? What is this game? Excellent. Look it up. This Star Wars Rogue Squadron <laughs> 2. Can I go to go the Google.com? For this? Please do. Please go to Google.com. Enter into the. I gotta. I gotta say, man. Like, this is probably it. Like, in terms of. Um, What's it called again? Rogue Squadron Two, Rogue Leader. Oh. Um, I don't know what the heck I was game. hearing before. <laughs> Still looks great. Too. Rogue Squadron is a good, great game. I actually have, I'm like I don't know what I heard you say, uh, but yeah. it wasn't that obviously. Yeah, it's great. I, on GameCube. I, yeah. In terms of like yeah on on Nintendo consoles. Probably. I think I'd agree with them. So. Yeah, probably. Like, I want to say Shadows of the Empire, but, like, really, it's just, like, the first level. Yeah. You know? Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to Pod Racer. Yeah. And 64. 64 Pod Racer. Yeah. yeah. Classic. Uh, yeah. The, the old, like, Super Empire Strikes Back. Super, Super Star, Star Wars. Wars. Super, yes. yeah. Those games are hard as hell, but they're gorgeous, and the music is great. Um, but, yeah, like, there is a good collection of Star Wars games out there. You know, mm -hmm. they didn't they didn't mail all those ones in, especially now. Yeah. Like yeah. like Jace points out now you got the KOTOR games on Switch. Like, yeah, so many of these on Switch now. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Very good. good. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, OK. That's a topic in and of itself, man. Holy cow. Yeah. Um, many of these could be. I'm going to hit Amanda one would lead it. Amanda yeah, would be the, the Star Wars expert. <laughs> the biggest Star Wars fan. For those who don't know, I am a diehard fan um, I know every character. I know what the different colored lightsabers are, you know. Um, I'm a Jedi, maybe, possibly. <laughs> also, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> Just going to toss that out there. So if you have questions about Star Wars, maybe consider not coming to me, but maybe. I think that's how it works now. I think you might be yeah. a Jedi. Oh, God. I don't even know what that means. Yon32 in the chat. Jar Jar S tier. How did we get so. oh, how did I, I? How did I not see that coming? Somehow. Yeah, we're just yeah, playing yeah. around in the Star Wars sandbox and thinking. Who's the eventually. cute little robot? He's cute. There could be the little, many. The blue and white robot. R two D two. R two D two. He's yeah. cute. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good one. Yeah. Good, <laughs> good answer. Character. <laughs> good, good character. Good character. <laughs> good character Next. To call cute. All right. Um. Let's let's hit this one because this one's topical. We might save the rest of these for next week. We got to get to our topic. We're running long. Um, let's hit this one from Hopple. Have any one of you fallen for an April Fool's joke? Since we yesterday was April Fool's, um, so this one's we topical. did fool some people, by the way. On, yeah. on Twitter, we announced that we are launching another six podcasts and welcoming seventeen more hosts. And um, yeah, I won't I won't out who got who got got, but some people got got. Man, it's like you might just want to check the date on that tweet. Like yeah. We're going to have 39 hosts and 14 podcasts, like whatever the number is. Apparently that's reasonable. <laughs> My favorite part of that was Fiona, I think, retweeted it and talked about like the Stadia drive or Stadia. whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I love the notion that we would literally do the Stadia drive before the PC drive. I know. I love <laughs> that'd be great that'd yeah be we amazing it'd be in our new series of defunct like podcasts about defunct um platforms the virtual boy drive totally yeah, yeah all of them the uh, panasonic 3do drive <laughs> yeah the, the philips great. cdi drive philips yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good uh but um, i think the short answer is yes i'm sure i've got i've got got but i can't remember which ones yeah, I can't remember specific instances of, of getting got, but yeah. I am positive that I have gotten got. Get um, got, get got. Got got. Have you been got, Amanda, by an <laughs> April Fool's prank? No, I get frustrated about April Fool's Day on social media because it. it's just these companies coming up with stupid stuff. It's like, obviously, it's not true. Mm -hmm. Obviously, 
because look at the date. Anyone would know. And as somebody who used to work in social media, I'd get requests all the time to make an April Fool's joke. And I was like, no, people aren't that silly. They're going to get it. So um, I try to avoid it because I'm just like, I, no, I know it's all fake. It's all the fake news. So I don't, I'm sure I've gotten got before, but now I just, like yesterday, I was like, keep me off the internet. I That's love me. it. Oh, um, really? Oh, I bye. love it. Keep me off. Because, like, what's the joke there? The, the joke is this, this cool thing that should exist doesn't exist. Yeah. That's the joke. Like, that's our mm-hmm. joke. That's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's other ways to do it, but okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, they're, like, I'm yeah, with you, this, Jace. Yeah, why do people hate fun? I'm with you, man. I, I think it's funny. They're good it's not examples. not that we hate fun. It just gets old really fast because everybody does these. They don't do, like, subtle stuff. They do super extreme. Like, obviously, that's not true. Like... And then to Seth's point, it's like, oh, I want that to be, or if it is something that's like, oh, that would be cool. And they're like, hmm, just kidding. And it's like, Ugh, but actually. Yeah, yeah. And some, sometimes it's really mean spirited, like people announcing like pregnancies and stuff and everybody's oh. all excited. And, and then they're like, oh, actually, psych. It's like, come on, man. My best come friend on. went and got married yesterday and I had to ask her if it was true. That's and I was like, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. Well, I don't. I can't think of a specific instance of me getting getting got, but IGN used to have some really fun stuff on. on April they did, first, yeah. I like, like that. Day. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, well, they did one myself. this year, didn't they? Didn't they do like a fake video this year too? Only I'm only seeing. I didn't see it. Uh, maybe I'll just leave mm-hmm. it at that. Yeah. Well, now I'm being weird. I just muted IGN. On oh, social fair. medias, honestly. Oh, Sean's yeah. got beef with IGN. It's not beef. It's just like I don't know. Like they're just. I'm an old man, and back in my day, IGN would, like it meant something, you know. And now it's like <laughs> back oh, in my so day. Now he's got <laughs> beef. I used to be N64.com, and it meant just, something back then. Not that my not that my Twitter experience is all that much better anyway. Though. So. I hear you. I didn't know. I, I missed whatever IGN did. That's um, what it was. Presto, Presto in the chat. Uh, a, a new virtual boy. They made like a whole video. Oh, nice. Boy. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Everybody says I've got beef. I can't have beef. It'll give me gout, you guys. I can't do that. Well, <laughs> sounds like you got beef. <laughs> gotta stay away from the beef, dude. Yeah, gotta stay away from okay. the beef. Mm-hmm. Well, shall we get, shall we finally unveil, shall we get to our oh, topic? Oh my gosh. Yes, and please. I'm, I'm excited about this topic. So this actually, we need to give Yon32 credit for this topic. Um, this, I think, came from a Yon32 question maybe two or three weeks ago. And I think we said on the show, we'll do it next week and we definitely won't forget. <laughs> we almost <laughs> forgot. And then we totally did. Um, no, we didn't forget. We just had a, we had scheduling mix-ups. We had, we, had, we had different, you know, last week yeah. was Peach. So it's okay. Yeah. Peach. But here we are. We're doing it today. He he brought in the question like like what is the best? Even Yon Thirty Two is like I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> he he asked what what our favorite box art was um, in Nintendo history. And so what we have done is we thought, you know, in true carpool gaming fashion, why not put it to a tournament bracket? Yeah. Uh, so I want to say for people who listen to the show on the audio feeds, you really ought to check out the video version of this episode on YouTube because we are going to have visual aids and um, uh, supplements, I guess I should say. Aids probably means multiple things. We have aids. Mm -hmm. Okay, (laughs) Sean, please. Please. Um, So check it out on YouTube. Here's here's what what happened. (sighs) That's such a South Park joke, it's not even funny. Just And that's why. I think that's why it's like... Yeah, I heard you, dude, I heard you trip up a little bit. I'm like, he's there. (laughs) I'm in the South Park, totally. (laughs) I'm in the mindset, totally. Um, Okay. (laughs) Here's what has happened. Um, We have chosen eight games that are going to go head-to-head in a tournament bracket. Um, Lockleth is showing support for Amanda. Lockleth, help yeah. me. <laughs> and um, we've chosen eight games. You will not know who has nominated which box. Oh, art good one. Nice. Until the oh. end. When we get to the end, we'll talk out and we'll vote for the box art and stuff. And we want the chat to vote for the box art too to determine who has the ultimate box art at the end. We'll reveal 
whose box art won, but we're not going to reveal that yet. We want that to be a secret because I don't want any favoritism oh, or anything totally. like this to mm-hmm. factor in. Right. Oh my God. This made me think of a great idea that one day okay. we should do an actual drawing contest and we draw our favorite. We try to recreate our favorite box art and then I see who can guess whose is whose. Yes. Oh, that's a great can idea. Can somebody pin that? <laughs> somebody? Pin it. For Extra Life. That'd be a fun Extra Life activity too. That would be Anybody fun. Like activity there. tables will have markers and crayons. Mm-hmm. And- Yon yes, 32, please. can you remember this? <laughs> Lockleth, can you remember this? <laughs> Nobody remembered this in the first place. No. So <laughs> we- we're screwed. We got to anyway. set a reminder for ourselves in our calendars. We got to write That's it down do somewhere. It. But but Sean, we have um, speaking of artistic ability, mm. uh, we have uh, Sean has lovingly crafted a tournament bracket for us um, here tonight, and we are going to uh, we are going to throw our box art against each other, and everybody we're going to vote together on which box art should win, and. Um, should be fun. So Seth, do you want me to bring up the whole tournament bracket first, or do you want to do want to name the um, like a, like an award show? The nominees are. Oh you sure. Want to go one by we, one? We can yeah, look at them kind of like want. close up. Okay. Let's well, do we'll do it. that. Okay. Let's see. The Share. nominees are. The nominees are coming in on the Nintendo GameCube, Alien Hominid, which for mm-hmm. audio listeners features some sort of tire fire in the background, some robots. <laughs> Attacking some cute alien insects, uh, insectoid aliens is some sort of my hominid. interpretation of this. Yes, mm-hmm. some sort of hominid. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Very clear. <laughs> the artwork is clearly featuring both aliens and also hominids. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. The next nominee is Donkey Kong Country, uh, which features, of course, Donkey Kong, a snake, a beaver, and a couple angry hornets, etc. On the Nintendo yeah. Wii. Super Mario Galaxy 2. I should also say, now that Mario has shown up here, um, Mario 3, Seth and I, we agreed, is eliminated from this competition because it would just win. It would just win. It would be We would just feel like yeah. that. it's just the answer. It's the it's the New England Patriots of box art. You know, it's like hmm. it's going to win. If Amanda it doesn't Super necessarily Bowl, agree. Gonna... <laughs> I don't know if I would agree, but keep going. I feel like it's just like the definition of the greatest box art but that's okay like you look it up in the in the dictionary um coming in next paper mario uh for the nintendo 64 which on the box art says in the bottom left hand corner thinner mario bigger (laughs) adventure (laughs) i i miss when we used to just put like blurbs on the box art it needs just a little descriptive yeah just you know Thinner Mario, bigger adventure. Yeah, I know, Jace. Yeah, that was Jace. The last I, time I, I didn't want to. Yeah. Well, actually. Yeah, now, yeah, we're talking about the Chiefs probably now or something, right? Who cares? Football, right. sports. Yeah. Sports. Coming in on the Nintendo GameCube. Yes. Pikmin 2 uh, with a cute but also terrifying set of box art here. Which is Pikmin. I, mm. I guess that is Pikmin. Yeah, well yeah. said. Is that a lobster? It's some sort of crustacean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, terrifying. But okay. everybody's okay. Yeah. Those Pikmin don't look like they stand a chance. On the Nintendo Switch, Sea of Stars. I wonder uh, just who a... nominated this. Hmm. <laughs> I wish I nominated it. <laughs> yeah. Great I box wonder. art. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful box art. And on the Nintendo Wii, which also came to Wii. No, uh, the Switch as well. Uh, mm-hmm. The Legend of Zelda, colon, Skyward Sword. Which... There's not a colon there. I think if you write it out, I would just make okay. sure people understand that there's it's a colon. It's an understood colon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's okay. a, I just don't want to leave any doubt that there's a colon there. <laughs> okay. Yes. I think, Seth, Seth, when we were chatting about this uh, earlier, um, we are kind of talking about how, on it, like, surprisingly, box art for Zelda games, not always great. Not usually. Yeah. yeah. yeah usually it's just, like, gold background, Legend of Zelda. Totally. Like, it's just text, usually, yeah. on a gold background. I mean, all the symbol, like everything is good on its own, you know, whatever the, the shield, what is, what do you, what is that called? Yeah, the Hylian that, shield. Yeah. You know, I mean like the wings, the, whatever that bird thing is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, it's the Hylian crest. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Come on, Sean. I think, I think, oh no, one more, one more, yeah, one more, one more. Of course. I'm sorry. Uh, Star Tropics. This is mm-hmm. a NES game. It is an a, NES game. Yeah. And uh, the descriptor says a test of island <laughs> courage. Yes. The greatest, the greatest the descriptor. Ness. On the nest. Mm. So those are the eight. Those are the eight nominees. Now I want to say too. 
we I want to make this this distinction too. We are not. This is in no way indicative of the quality of the games. Mm. That is not. Mm. Kind of, we're we're talking about the artwork, strictly. Right, and <laughs> this is with the Xenoblade Chronicles Three background. Look at this; it's beautiful. So, in honor I, of Nagachaka from the PlayStation Drive, we have created a PowerPoint in order to play out this <laughs> tournament bracket because we definitely spent at least three and a half minutes getting this ready before the show. At least, so this is what we have. Okay, mm, beautiful. <laughs> we art. have a PowerPoint, and we have all of the uh, all of the nominees have been matched up against each other. So yeah, we'll we'll play this out in a tournament bracket style. We just want to okay. appreciate that the corners of the image are rounded. Of course. Oh, I was playing with the PowerPoint image settings. Okay, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Well, in case they? you forget, Xenoblade Chronicles Three is Sean's favorite game. Yeah, and and I also want to say I'm already seeing like why wasn't this in on here? This is just this is not a definitive. We had eight games because we if we did sixteen we'd be here all night. We've also yeah. got an odd number of participants and stuff. So yeah, we 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 wanted to make it succinct and we wanted to just capture you know some different vibes from different consoles and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So there was a lot of math that happened. So Definitely. you know, Long lots division. of math. You win some, you lose most. Everybody, it's all right. Now, and I'll I say also to, want to... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead sorry. sorry. No, no. Well, I was just going to say, I, I reserve the right to return to this. I could see us doing a round two, you know, mm -hmm. like in the future. Mm -hmm. Round two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With like the, you know, challenge, like the, the, the old champ, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. Or I like that. could even after this have the community submit ones and then we go and review them. So don't don't worry, everybody. It's fine. No one. Yeah, this okay. is just the beginning. Hold, hold your horses. We're good. OK, we're great. Mm, hold them. That's, that's actually hold what em. I was going to talk about. Um, we Recently, we launched a section of our discord that the community has been lighting up, which is great. We love lists. Um, we'll launch a section in there as well for people to submit their top three mm -hmm. box art. So we'll kind of like see that in a in a more almost a visual list of things mm -hmm. so feel free to post that in there we'll um we'll have that in um in the discord the links are in the descriptions for the audio podcast as well as here on youtube so it's fun and it's just meant to be fun you know it's just yeah. like I, I think people know us by now we're not meant to like this is there's probably better box art, but like these are these are ones that we really like and special shout out i have an honorable mention that didn't make this list shout out to street fighter 2. yeah what i didn't say yeah, what I didn't list here, which we won't spend any time on, of course. Okay, yeah. no honorable mentions here. All right. Okay. Okay, Seth, take it away, man. Which, How do which you pair up do we, do we want to go left or right first? We'll go clockwise. Left, or, left, Whatever left, that means. Whatever that means. <laughs> left. Okay. So do you want to do Pikmin 2 versus Donkey Kong Country? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we'll start this, there. That's a hard pairing for me, because they're both really good. Um... I will say, for me, uh, Donkey Kong Country gets a little bit of the edge because it has the text that I like on the box art. Mm. I like a good text on the box art. I like that it said... What, oh, it like the description, like, it says, an incredible 3D <laughs> adventure in the kingdom of Kong. Yes. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty okay. Good. Okay. How's everybody else feeling, though? Pikmin 2, all the way. Look at that crustacean. Look at that. And it kind of <laughs> just gives, like... Yeah, and it's not just like, like, look at all the movement going on and kind of the crustacean is in its own kind of art style. It's almost, yeah. it's very picturesque versus the rest. <laughs> and look it's at the, chon the chonky purple Pikmin just like flying around. Good. Like, I just love how dynamic it is. Like your eye moves around the entire thing. Wow, the That's chat is point. really voting for Donkey Kong. So I'll just <laughs> shut I up. Think, I think Donkey Kong might, might have this. Yeah, the wow. chance. Vertical boxes automatically get me hooked, says Yon32. Let's go, Yon. So. Okay, everybody's voting Donkey Kong, so yeah, I guess I'll Donkey just Kong shut up. This one. Guess we I know think... which one Amanda's was on this one. <laughs> <laughs> she was fighting a little too hard. She, uh, it's just yeah, so no, good. It is really good. They're, I mean, they're both really good. I, But yeah, that, that one, man. I don't know. Look at that beaver. You gotta look at that beaver in the eye and tell me that he doesn't have the better box art, Amanda. <laughs> he looks like he wants to, to kill me. To him? I feel like I, I would it. see that in a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, fine. there's a few things on this one that, like the Donkey Kong logo, you have to remember, like this was the first so time we saw Donkey Kong in forever and like completely reimagined in this 3D art style. 
Um, I love the Super Nintendo or the Famicom like kind of logo that appeared on all Super Nintendo yes. um, artwork, which I didn't realize until much way too late in life. Like these are just the buttons on the controller, right? right. Mm-hmm. Like kind of showing it a cool perspective. I think the Super Nintendo Entertainment System logo is excellent. The rip on the top corner for only for oh, Nintendo, so very very good. Uh, but again, like look, look, just the original Donkey Kong Country logo there, just you know, updated with country and this. Everybody's walking in a row is the other thing that I love about this. This is a 2D platformer pitch. They're all running in line. (laughs) This is the game right here. So shout out to Donkey Kong Country, man. I like it. Shout out to it. It moves on to the next round. Congratulations, Donkey Kong Country from Super Nintendo. Um, Apologies to Pikmin 2. Apologies to Pikmin 2. An honor to be nominated. Honor to be there. Yes. Yeah. An honor to be nominated. Okay. So what's the next, do we want to just go down the line there? Alien yeah. Hominid versus Super. This is a bit of an unfair matchup, I feel like. I like, would agree. I feel like Alien Hominid should have gone against Paper Mario, but that's a personal think opinion. So. Yeah, because they're yeah. kind of similar art styles in a way. Um, yeah. I mean, here you've got like 3D or um, like, yeah, 3D rendered art versus flat 2D doodle art. It's fine. It's it's hard to it's hard to top. Like Mario Galaxy 2 is so joyous. You know. Like it's Look at that Amanda. Like, I'm not saying anything, but <laughs> I don't think the pairing was correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're you're not necessarily wrong. Um mm-hmm. but man, it really is tough. Yeah, can we talk I, about this Super Mario Galaxy 2 mm-hmm. artwork? <laughs> Go ahead. It's excellent. I mean, come on. It is excellent. Mario riding Yoshi with his hand. Like, he's like a, he's riding a horse. Yoshi. My apologies. Yeah. Yoshi. It's what I also love about this, too, is it, it's not cliche at all. Like, there's a lot of, especially in movie artwork right now, everything is the same. Like, this is Mario just having a great time. There's a big old blue Yoshi in the background, like, just deflating like a big old balloon. You got the Luma, which has been reignited these days with the Mario movie. Just sad prisoner Luma, little star thing. You know, (laughs) I think the I think the logo is excellent. You get a little taste of, like, the Mario kind of face ship in the background. It's it's glorious. I love like the galaxy, the stars in the logo. The t- I love just... the lava, like in yes. the two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's there's it's so an and all the Yoshis, matchup. all the Yoshis it's, in here. It is an unfair matchup. Like it, it is. It, Yon thirty two votes for Alien Hominid. Yeah, Yon. Wow. He's, just, he's just just helping out. Just being he's a, such a, a nice contrarian. guy. He's just he's just he's no, like, he's being I nice. feel bad. He's just being I, nice. I do like the Alien Hominid box art though. I think it kind of because Alien Hominid is like a um it's like a like a kind of side scrolling like shooter sort of thing. And it does kind of get across what the game is a little bit. It is just destruction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. And mm-hmm. I like the purple. I like how purple it is. Uh, purple is my favorite color. <laughs> and um so, you know. And like the that. art on the box is the same art that's in the game. Oh, I don't yeah. like how Super Mario Galaxy 2 looks on the box. I don't think that's exactly how it looks like in the game. It's rendered like slightly different. Same yeah. could be said for Donkey Kong and kind of pick. Uh, I don't sorta. know. I think Donkey Kong looks you pretty close what? to what Donkey Kong looks like. Okay. Oh, it looks exactly <laughs> the same. Yeah, it looks I mean, Donkey Kong looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, but this was, you know, um Alien Hominid was never going to win this one. <sighs> <laughs> the heavy the size heavy has been good. Yeah. Thank you, Lockleth. <laughs> Lockleth goes with Alien Hominated. Well, hang on. We might need to actually tally up here. Because we got Pat. Sean and I are, I guess, are, are Mario Galaxy. Yeah. Pat, Presto, um, Fulia. Okay, yeah, never mind. There was no chance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep going. Keep moving. It's like six against, I think, three. So. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Okay, well, next. well, next up, next up. <clears throat> yeah, what do we got here? Here yeah, we sea go. Sea Stars versus Star Tropics. Yeah, we got your seas and well, stars. These are the stars. It's yep, the stars. It's a lot of stars. Star yeah. I wish it's I could say star. that was on purpose. It was not how we <laughs> okay. drew it up. It just kind of worked out that you way. You didn't have to say that, Sean. Look at I mean, the pretty we totally watercolor yeah, art. Everybody, just look at the pretty watercolor art. The artist of Sea of Stars in general is just an incredible 
talented human being. Look at the little happy thing they're riding on that looks adorable. Aww. Like it's just so well yeah, done. Like it's just so good. Yeah. Now I I know that Sea of Stars is, is going to win this, but yeah. um I do I do yeah. want to <laughs> I I do want to pull up Star Tropics though. Look no. at how inviting that art is. No. That like you don't want to go to that island to Coral Cola Island and find out what the <laughs> test of island courage is inside that box by the way the the box came with a physical letter from your uncle that was inside wow. the box that set up the plot of the game you're going to the island to look for your uncle it was a whole experience it was a whole thing mm. and um I, I love that, like, unlike Sea of Stars, it didn't have to show any of the characters. It's just, look at this world that you want to go to and explore. I love the meteor in the background. I love the font. Um, it's beautiful. I, I love it. Yeah, yeah it's a mystery, it's Chase. Chase. Who nominated Star <laughs> Tropics? Very, <laughs> very curious. Um, Seth, whenever you have a moment, I and for any 80s kids out there, look up Fireball Island. It's a board game. It's a oh, tabletop experience. It. Fireball Island reminds Fireball. me of this big time. Totally. Fireball Island is a, um, I mean, really, it's sort of like Mousetrap in a way where like you didn't actually play the game. You just like set it up and then sent the fireball down. It and takes forever hit, to set up. It yeah. takes forever, um, but Dude, it's, it's very much closet. like this. Yeah. The reason I started giggling at this um, this artwork, not that it is, it is beautiful, but what I was actually thinking of is if this were an Animal Crossing island, this is how I would design it. And that's not to say it's a good thing. It's got like Just one row of like palm trees, <laughs> like a dilapidated like like little pond or like scummy like little area. And that's kind of it. And it's like, yeah, that's probably what I would have been able to come up with. It's not all is as it seems on Coral Cola mm. Island, Sean. Mm. So... I mean, yeah, there's, there's mystery in the foliage here in the foreground. Mm -hmm. Plenty of mystery. Anyway, I knew that this was not going to win, but yeah. I just wanted people to appreciate mm -hmm. the Star no, Tropics. Shout out to Star Tropics. Art. Yeah, no, um, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vote for it. Yeah. Okay, okay that... Yarden. All right. I can't, I can't believe we're even debating this one. <laughs> oh, jeez. <Yes. laughs> All right. All right, I get Sea of it. Stars, nice. All right. All right. Congratulations to Sea of Stars. Um, okay. This one, I think we've got a legit matchup here. This is a mm -hmm. tough one. Yeah. Put them side by side. Blow That's them both idea. up side by side. Hang on. Okay. Good you idea. Blow them up. I didn't. I don't want to ruin my my master work here. Well, guess there. what? Too bad. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, good call. Yeah. Look at that. It looks nice. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Look at this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um. Yeah. I mean, I love how watercolor. Skyward Sword is like I this is like a you know what this reminds me of the sky it reminds me of a Drew Stu, uh, Struzan poster like mm. the old Star Wars posters like this literally looks like a new hope with Luke like holding up the lightsaber that's what it looks like it's so um, good it's, it's beautiful great. it's actually like it's something that I would put on my wall like and that's mm. maybe the I, I am leaning towards Paper Mario because it it's just it's, so bright it pops damn near perfect so it fun. really is yeah like it's a it's tough so matchup cute. The um, only knock that I'll give against Paper Mario is it does Mike Wazowski, uh, Princess Peach back there, and uh, Kami Koopa. It does <laughs> it does Mike Wazowski them a little bit. Oh, my bit. God. It kind of stinks That's that the two reference. females are covered with red. I'm kind weird. of disappointed. Little now, Lady Bo. That, yeah, Lady, Lady, Bo Lady Boo. Is out there. Or Bo, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And you but, don't know about that Goomba. It, yeah, yeah. Goomba. Yeah. It's difficult to know. say. I would go Paper Mario in this sense because it's too. just fun and bright and colorful. You can yeah. see the foreground, background, like there's some dimension there. I the shadowing that, like, is really good. I love that butter yellow background that it has. Butter. That butter. butter. It's butter. the texture too in the logo for Paper Mario. It's a crumpled up paper and oh, then in the background that. it kind of goes from in the top left like there's some texture in there and it kind of like smooths out. There's a beautiful rainbow in the background. Personally, for me, like I love the design of Paper Mario. Mm -hmm. Like no notes, it's perfect. I love. I actually have. Um, shout out to my dad. Made me a, a stained glass Paper Mario. It hangs Let's in our go. in our window. Aww. I should take a picture of it for you guys. It's like it's like perfect. Like your family is so wholesome. <laughs> like, dear shout God. Out shout Sometimes. out to the Capris. Shout out. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm. I think I'm with you, Paper Mario. Yeah, pa Paper wow. Mario is kind of winning in a land in a landslide in the chat yeah. too. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, shout okay. out to Skyward Sword. Shout outs to it. Shout, shout outs yeah. to it. Okay. R.I.P. All right. Paper back Mario over to the back on. to the left. Yeah. Back into the left. Now we're now we're mm-hmm. getting into some. We're getting some real. This is this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be heavy stuff right now. Mm-mm. No stop. Okay. Oh dang. What do you think, okay. Amanda? Yeah, take it away. Mario, all the way. Donkey Kong is creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> He's got just a creepy looking face. He's like, I'm gonna murder somebody with these bananas. You just watch your back. And even all the characters are kind of creeping me out. Mario looks like, Yay, it's happy. You're safe here. There's no danger. You're good. Look at this plumpy little star. Like, adorable the fun. The star is, is so plumpy adorable. star is good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lockleth calls it out the rat in the background? No, thanks. Yeah, same. <laughs> Agreed. The snake, the rat. What is going on? I was the going rat. to say, I was about to say that I don't like that Donkey Kong has like a toothless grin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, oh. but, but then I, now I'm picturing it with teeth and I like it less. So I think it was the right call. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they tried it. They probably tried it and were like, you know what? This looks worse. <laughs> Could you imagine Donkey Kong just a big row of teeth in I that? Draw that yeah. in there, you know. Both no, don't. <laughs> yeah, Please stop. Try. It's okay. Okay. We'll be here all night. Oh, I, I really do think this is this is very very tricky. It's a tough which one. is this is a sign of a good um, tournament bracket, of course. Steph, did you weigh in on this? I don't know where I want to go with it. <sighs> I. It's tough for me. I think I ultimately would give it to Donkey Kong, but it's it's like barely. And it's for me, honestly, what it really comes down to, you guys, is the color. I like the green. I like the lush yeah. green color. Yes, Amanda. What do you think? I also think, as a graphic designer, <laughs> there's too much text there on this go. Donkey Kong thing. Look at all this text. <laughs> somebody what I like about it, Amanda. Somebody That's a threw positive. up. Somebody <laughs> threw up with text. If my typography teacher was in the chat, they would be like, you're expelled. There is too much text. There are so many different typefaces on this piece of art. No, it also, I keep thinking it says OnlyFans in the corner. It doesn't. <laughs> only <What>? four? <laughs> I keep thinking only it says Nintendo. OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, only ahead of its fans, time. OnlyFans Nintendo. OnlyFans Nintendo, man. Yeah. I, I so. do think, though, you count the letters on both covers, yeah. I, I do think, though, regardless of what we vote, it is a landslide DKC in the chat. It I mean, really is. What? It really is. So, okay, yeah. I don't know. I think that does mean Donkey Kong moves on. It's, man, that's tricky. It's a hard one, though. Like, <sighs> it, it, this, I, th- this was not an easy pairing. But Chad, Shy Guy, shy guy logging a second vote for Donkey Kong Country. Appreciate you, Shy Guy. No, Thank look you, at that guy. creepy rat. No. What oh, rat? Naughty. What are you talking about? They're, they're, or is he, of, is he a, a squirrel? Oh, this beaver. Guy is, oh, he's a little beaver. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah look at his <laughs> dead eyes. the first eyes. boss of the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rat has seen things. <laughs> seen things. Okay, Donkey Kong wins. We're getting some more Mario Galaxies. We're getting some more Mario Galaxies in the chat. I still don't think it tops the DKC. Though. I think DKC wins. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You can you can replay the tape if you want to, but I think okay. Gotta, I think we gotta move on. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Donkey Kong gonna... moves on to the finals. Oh. Okay, to the final round. This is gonna be tricky. Oh, wait, you stars. didn't move. Wait, move Paper Mario forward. Oh, my, bad, you... my bad. My Sorry. Oh okay. my god, who's in charge of this bracket? <laughs> <laughs> Paper Mario. Well, they they got it. Yeah, Paper versus Mario versus Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, we haven't done that yet. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I know how to do this. Mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry, Presto's disappointed. Sorry, Presto. Oh, Presto. Um, I go Paper Mario on this. I <sighs> for me, here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> I go Paper Mario on this because of the color. The Aww. Sea of Stars. It looks a little washed out to me. It looks a little like one note in terms of the color story of it paper mario is so colorful like it pops so much you know mm. so i just that's feel my bad for cents. amanda <sighs> amanda's about the to, third, amanda's third on the third one edge, dude mm. i'm still gonna vote sea of stars it's fine <laughs> it's fine but do you but do you do you see where i'm coming yeah, from yeah 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 i get it 
This is gonna yeah. sound really harsh because only, what? Like, I'm just really sorry, man. I just want to say mm. I, I'm I'm sorry. I, I feel like this night isn't going your way, and I I, I apologize <laughs> for that. Canadian feel for you. Uh, the Sea of Stars, while I think it is a beautiful cover, and I, and I hadn't actually noticed how happy that little fish character thing is that they're all <laughs> very cute, very very sweet. Um, it does to me um, kind of commit that that sin of movie poster. Thing where they just slam all the characters and they're all looking in the same direction and mm. it looks like a movie poster that I've seen a thousand times before but the artwork is beautiful but it's sort of like the the composition of it is kind of cliche I and think, you mean to point. tell me not all the characters are in that paper Mario art are you kidding me <laughs> I just all mean like it does like it looks like a movie poster that I've seen that's all I'm trying okay. to say I think probably because of the I'm aspect sorry. ratio of it like the fact that it I mean that For one sure. is poster shaped right but you, so, like, it's always like the yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. Like they're looking in like the same direction, like like looking up yeah. in front. Like I'm not saying that a, a artwork with a lot of characters on it is a movie poster. That's not what I'm saying. Like it's a particular like arrangement of characters. Mm, and, sure. Yeah. Like there's sm okay. smaller, less important characters off in the background. Like kind of you know there. Yeah. You know, you know, it looks like a Star Wars poster to me. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Why is yeah. everything coming back right to Star Wars tonight? Or, or Avengers or whatever. <laughs> Amanda like, hasn't your... watched Star Wars. This doesn't sea help. Of Star Wars. Sea of Star okay. Wars, you might as well call it. More like Yarden Sea of Star is, Wars. Yarden is telling Amanda to quit the show. Wow. <laughs> this, this is outrageous. What, this I think he's coming to your want? aid. I think, I think this is, no, I think this is. He's, I don't know. Look at that smiley face. It's like, mm, you're going to mm. quit now? Mm. Is no, that what you want? Even the people coming to your aid are getting chewed out. So Yeah. Rip. So Paper Mario then? <laughs> yeah, move it forward. <laughs> I think it's Paper Mario going into the finals. Grip. Goodness. Goodness me. Okay. It's a good run. Here we go, y'all. Paper Mario versus Donkey Kong Country. Please, Paper Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, for the love of God. For the love of God. I have to win something tonight, please. Donkey Kong is creeping me out. I'm so sick of looking at it. I go. I I think I go Paper Mario on this one. Thank God. I think I do. I think I do go Paper Mario on this one. It's the colors. Like that. That is what it really comes down to for me with all of this. I'm I'm realizing is the color. Like I love the green. I love the lushness. But that that yellow with all the bright colors and the popping characters and the action of it. Yeah. All that butter. All that butter. I really do wish that Princess Peach was more visible i agree like really just because it's a perfect design for peach like her mm -hmm. hair is excellent it's so good she's so sweet and mar i mean mario's not having a great time either like he's working hard he's sweating here you know he's looking good i i think i think my vote goes to, to paper mario here too i just love I like he's said, sweating he's looking good he's looking good <laughs> oh yeah he's, he's reaching he's for the star he's just he's just about there I like I like that Paracarry is sweating too. Like he's the one holding yeah, him, and he doesn't know if he's got it. All the sweat. It's a very very sweaty. Box get the, the yeah. paper all wet. All the yeah. sweat. Mm. So the chat is pretty torn. We've got what three votes for DKC, one, two, three, four, five votes for Paper Mario. Come on, chat. Paper I'm Mario. I'm Paper Mario. Close. Amanda's Paper Mario. Sean, did you weigh in? I'm Paper Mario. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> well, yeah. I think it, I think it, I think Paper Mario might be our winner. Dun, da, da, da. Is that the deal? I think that's I like it. it. I'm okay with that. Lockliff. Chad isn't torn. Paper Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Have we? It's great. Winner? This is great box art, though. This really yeah. is. I feel good about this. Yeah, yeah, I feel good about it as well. Amanda, do you feel good about this? I do. I do. A worthy champion. Yeah, mm. they felt bad for Amanda. The chat felt bad for <laughs> they Amanda. They did. The chat was Amanda like, had poor to win Amanda. something. Yeah. They had to win it somewhere. Are we going to discuss yeah. who picked what? Yeah. Let's also do it. Also, on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, in case anybody hasn't figured it out. Yeah. This game is also on OnlyFans, in case <laughs> yeah. you were curious. Just OnlyFans N64 this time around. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so this was my pick. Paper Mario was, was me. Um, so, in a way, you could say that I win. Mm. Um, you do win. You could say that. You could say that. Um, you could say yeah. that we all win because the background was Xenoblade. That's oh, true. Now we're all winners. We're all, we're the Monados. Nope. Mm -hmm. 
in okay. the endless now. We're okay. So who picked Donkey Kong? I love Donkey Kong Country okay. as a game. I almost picked Donkey Kong Land, actually. You didn't answer the question. I asked who picked it, and then you said oh, it was you me. love. Okay. And I love it. <laughs> Thank it you. Was me. It was me. It was I. <laughs> it was I. <laughs> Getting on, like, technicalities. <laughs> okay. Who picked Super Mario Galaxy 2? Oh, that was also me, too. Gone. Yeah, that was me. I was me like, as well. why are you both so quiet? Just tell me. Just tell uh, me. It was, it was me. I forgot. <laughs> Okay. I want you to ask, ask about <laughs> well, it. Well, I was also reading Yawn32 in the chat shouting out Killer Instincts on Super Nintendo, which also it's nearly nice. made it. Yeah. Okay. We, we almost had Clay Fighter up in the mix. Clay Fighter was in there as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Who picked Star Tropics? <laughs> that was me, as if that oh, wasn't obvious. Mystery yeah. Unveiled. Yeah, Mystery okay. Unveiled. <laughs> Mr. Unveiled, who picks Star Tropics? Star then, in the chat says, does it feel like Seth won or Amanda lost? <laughs> Amanda always loses. I'm just the loser. <laughs> oh. It's fine. And then who picks Zelda? Oh, that was me too. I love okay. that one. Yeah. Because I think it's obvious to everybody what I picked. So. Alien yeah. Hominid. Hominid, Pikmin 2, and Sea of Stars. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I, um... Lockless says the alien hominid should have went further. I know it's so it cute. Did. Look at his little derpy face. You can't say no to a derpy face. You can never just, look at that. It did get done dirty it, against look at Mario the guy Galaxy in the team. back. In the guy in the back, the little yellow guy in the back, he's gonna rip that guy's head off because that's what happens in the game, and it's just so great. I'm just anticipating it, even though it's not gonna move. You know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I, I have so to like. Good. Well, I'll leave it for the post show if I have to say anything more. I'll, I'll just have okay. Amanda will quit. If I say anything else, Amanda will quit. <laughs> In mid show. <laughs> just, just. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm not going to upload my locals. <laughs> no, we're done. Yeah. That would suck. I'm, I'm shocked. shocked no Kirby, oh says Yon32. So I tried. I, yeah, you did. I found, I I found a beautiful uh, Japanese artwork for a Kirby game. I don't yeah. know what it was. Unfortunately, Kirby Air Ride's box art is kind of eh. A little mid. It's, it's not the best. Yeah. I wish it, I did look at it multiple times, and then I also obviously looked at Wind Waker, and I was like, mm. yeah. yeah. And then I threw Alien Hominid out there as a joke, and I was like, you know what? Let's go with it. Let's roll with it. And we then Sports you got was pretty attached to it. Yeah, I did, and now <laughs> and I'm very attached. I threw it out as a joke, and then it came I emotionally fought to attached. the death, and I still <laughs> lost. It's fine. And then it ruined my night. Alien, Mr. Pike says, Alien is cute, but Donkey Kong was scary. I think Amanda's losing it. <laughs> I also want everyone in the chat to know I also threw out Wii Sports as an option. Yes, you did. <laughs> should we that do made me happy. the worst box art at some point? I feel like we should do that, too. Oh, that's a good mm -hmm. call. And yeah. Mega Man. There, dude, there's oh. so many ways you could go. We were talking like Mega you could Man do this one. just with Mario games. You really could. You know, yeah. like mm -hmm. you could do this. I mean, you could do this just with super nintendo games you know yep. like oh fun so good i i feel like we will do that you could like my my thought as we were doing this is like this could just be like its own podcast just do tournament brackets about box art that could be its own podcast i'm telling you like honestly yeah. like every second week we should <laughs> just keep just doing maybe it. not every Wait. week because that's too much but every maybe second it's week like a it. end of the month thing maybe we look at the latest releases or we go back to like games that were all released in the same year and we do yeah. it that way. Anyway, I'm up for whatever. That sounds awesome to me. As long well, as we, we do it in PowerPoint. It, we shouldn't take too much. We, we shouldn't say do. too much live here on the air. Oh, yeah. You, totally. you never know who's listening. Of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they always take so, our ideas. Anyways. Cool. Oh. Well, did we, uh, did we do it? We've crowned the winner. Paper Mario. We did it. Given it mm -hmm. its paper crown. Congratulations, Paper Mario. Yeah. Congratulations to Paper Mario. Not Donkey Hooray. Kong Country. Hooray. Okay, now everybody listening and or watching, now we want to see you recreate the Paper Mario box art. So draw it and submit it in the Discord. Could you imagine? And I will print them all out and I will put them on my screen behind me. That's a great idea. Oh my idea. God. That'd be amazing. If anybody does it, I promise I will do that. I have a printer at work. So if Wait, you which draw one? it. Paper Mario? Draw Paper, Paper Mario? Mario? Draw it. If you can draw it, don't trace it. Draw it. No tracing. No, oh, we yeah, don't want to, no. We'll know. No. If you traced, we'll know. <laughs> yeah. Draw it in your own style, and I will print it out, and I will put it behind me. Absolutely. We, we I kind of want to, like, craft it up, like, because it's paper. I want to, like, get some, like, construction paper and just, like, 
Yeah, get, like, do it. Stick and just like, like do South the whole Park. dang thing. Do it. Yes. Yeah, that's how do they do it. South Park. I'll that's print right. it out. Oh, fun. So that's your challenge for next week, everybody. You have a And week. not involve my children. That's a total thing I could do with my kids. And be like, no, this is for Amanda. <laughs> just like Disney Illusion Island. Just exactly. leave them out of it. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Mr. I Pike says, to... draws DKC. <laughs> Send that to Amanda. Oh, God. <laughs> we can talk about this more on the post show, but. I hope this um, becomes your Jar Jar. You know how long I took the Jar Jar BS? And oh, yeah. Now uh, we know Donkey we Kong kind of triggers Amanda, so. Okay. Anyhow. Act accordingly. Draw the box art, send it in the Discord, Amanda will print it out, and you too can be on the wall of color. <laughs> the wall of color. <laughs> wall, the wall of, of color. Let's go. It's the so, wall of color. The, mm -hmm. the Technicolor dream coat. Challenge. Oh, Joseph. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. If yeah, anybody draws one. the Donkey Kong one, I'm not printing it out. <laughs> no. Nope. You'll print it out just to destroy it live mm -hmm. on the air. I'll go in the Discord. I'll be like, <laughs> I almost start bursting out into song with Joseph and the Technicolor dream coat. Hell yeah, man. Andrew, okay. Is that Andrew Lloyd Webber? Are we getting into sure musicals? Is. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay. No well, before we, uh, before we sign off for the night, if you'll allow it, I oh, would I'll like to thank the following patrons for supporting us here at patreon.com slash carpool gaming. Huge thanks to everybody over there, especially our ultimate producers like Tony Baker uh, from youtube.com slash quest for pixels. That's quest number four pixels. Jonathan Brown, uh, whose music can be found at linktree slash pme.jib. Lee Navarro, the fearless leader of the Phoenix Overdrive Extra Life team. Quaggy, who reminds you that the best babes are Xeno babes. Links are in the show notes, so please show your love and support to our ultimate producers. We also need to thank our platinum producers, Robbie Bobby Miller and Smokin' Yo. <laughs> Smokin' Yo. Smokin' Yo. There. Big thanks to them. Thank you to our gold members, Adam K, Anna, Awesome Dave 1337, Bob Blah Blah, Brad Moore, Brian Reese, Cecily Carozza, Croco Kyle, Dan and Luma, Dano, Emily O'Kelly, Yon32, Marcus O'Neill, Pehe AP, and Tim Alf. Alf? Big, big thank you to all of our patrons. Uh, you can, of course, get a seven day free trial to the exclusive tier plus, get a ton of exclusive content like the Nintendo Drive post show over there on that there Patreon. I got it. What were y'all laughing about? I got to know Amanda what was going on. Amanda smoked her microphone. I smacked my <laughs> microphone so bad. Were you doing I went like to the do slash? the slash and I just. <laughs> she just <laughs> judo chopped her microphone. So, just I can't thick. wait for everyone to hear that noise because it popped it up works. on my local. But it still All works. Good. She's still here. She's still. Yeah, it still works. Still it still works, thankfully. <laughs> you just, could you imagine? It's just, just the people's <laughs> elbow. <laughs> yeah, it goes I, into um, the screen. I didn't think far enough ahead to fill in the lockless role of um, of having oh, a physical. physical. Do you have a physical? I mean, I showed Please. it earlier, but I can show off the Princess Peach bows that yes. came as my pre-order bonus from Walmart. So we got two, and this one cute. has all like the peach sonas, like the little icons, which is cute. And then this other one, which I love that they just slide right off of here, first off. Um, this one has Kung Fu Peach... Detective Peach and the normal Peach, and it looks like the Sword Fighter Peach on here. Cute. So super cute. Um, decent quality scrunchies. They are kind of silky. I predominantly use silk because of my curls. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not like a high quality silk. Um, but I'm excited to try to wear them running and see. Um, I might honestly wear one to work. I thought maybe that would be Let's silly, go. but I think I'm going to do it. Um, oh. But very cute. Shout out to Walmart. I said this on my stream Shout yesterday. <laughs> Shout, out to, Shout out to Walmart. They came in like, <laughs> like a, the game came in like a an envelope, and it was so squish. And I totally thought they didn't put the pre order bonus in there because that's happened with GameStop before. Oh, yeah. And I opened it, and I stupidly cut the corner of one. Oh, so there no. is a rip because I didn't think the bows were in there. But it's fine. So these are very cute. So shout out to Quaggy because Quaggy let us know in the chat that one night when we were talking about pre-order bonuses right. that these existed. And then my brother got them for me. So yay. That's awesome. Yay. So yay. I think the red one is better for me. But we'll I like see. The blue one. Nice. I like yeah. the blue one. Maybe yeah. I'll wear one to work and see if anybody very notices good. what's on it. But yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm glad somebody had a physical. I was like, do I just, my tattoo is my physical? Oh, oh yeah! Look at, it. Look at that! Yeah, since, Look since at the boy. Saw me, I'm tatted. Tatted. I'm, uh, 
Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm one of those tattooed punk rock kids now. Nice. Hey, you know? Gib. So, yeah. Welcome. Okay. Looks Wait, good. question. I have a question about it. Oh, please. Did it hurt, or did you find it the tattoo process relaxing? Let's let's pin it for the post, post show. show. Oh, oh, what a tease! Okay. Yes, <gasps> yes, well okay. done. Mm-hmm. Stay we'll tuned. Pro move. Stay yep. tuned. Okay, everybody. Slash carpool gaming. Patreon.com slash carpool game. Pop that seven day free trial and hear all about the the pain of getting a tattoo. Uh, Amanda, <gasps> where can people find you on the internet? You can find me on twitch.tv slash miles underscore of underscore Amanda. I'm live twice every week on there. I'm also on YouTube and check out my TikTok. My TikTok is just bumping and hilarious, though I think Let's it's go. hilarious. Um, but you can also find me here every Tuesday at youtube.com slash carpool gaming. Every Tuesday. Tuesday. On Fridays, you can find me on the Xbox Drive right here at youtube.com slash carpool gaming. And on socials at Sean Capri. Sean like Connery, Capri like the pants. And I think I think that's it. That's it for me, Seth. Yeah, very good. I'm at $2 Hero on the stuff. Um, Yon32 says, Seth, just remember Lockleth and Amanda fell asleep during theirs. Oh, they're, they're, um, mm-hmm. the yeah, tattoos. They're, they're tattoos. We'll talk yeah. about it. Stay we'll tuned. Talk about it. Stay tuned. And of course, my friend code, uh, SW4112806134554, just like, just like Eric Lindros. Just know? like Eric Lindros. What a, what a like hero. Him. Canadian hero. Same. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, I think Lachlan says to bump that like button if you haven't already, and fuel this carpool in the comments below by letting us know what your favorite Nintendo box art is. What should have won? What was snubbed? Uh, Let us know. Tell us how stupid we are in the comments below. You're going to do it anyways. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you very much. Bye. 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 Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Nintendo Drive. Now, before you drive off, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us at Carpool Gaming on socials. Don't forget to check out our awesome Nintendo Drive merch on carpoolgaming.com. And you can also support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash carpool gaming, where you'll unlock all sorts of exclusive content like the Nintendo Drive Post Show. Links to everything are in the description. See you next week! Big.